My name is Richard Walker and I'm the IT manager here at Triple Eight Race Engineering. Triple Eight uh, is uh, contracted to the UK arm of General Motors Vauxhall to design and build race winning cars. Hello, I'm Frank Marie and I'm the commercial and marketing director. Uh, we've achieved what some people call unprecedented success. We, we are actually one of the most successful team in, a, in the modern era of British touring cars. We've won 18 different titles and championships. My name is Carl Fo. I'm a design and data engineer for Triple Eight Race Engineering. We do things very differently here. Um, not anyone else in, in the BTCC uses our level of technology, and that's, that's thanks mainly to AMD. AMD technology helps us uh, simulate the entire car before it even hits a racetrack. Uh, we can go through all of the components as individuals and the entire car system before we've even built a prototype before we've even run on track for the very first time. And that means when we do get onto the test track, we're already a step ahead. Obviously being in motorsport speed, speed of everything to us because we need to win, to win races and that's what you will see on the track. But th there's a lot more going on in the background, especially as far as the technology is concerned. When we're not at a race circuit, actually racing other competitors, we're constantly refining what we have, making new designs and, and trying to improve the car we've got. If we sat back and didn't do anything, everyone else would get ahead. Reliability is a hugely important part, again, both on the, on the, race, on the racetrack and off the racetrack. We're not like most companies in the world who, if they don't meet a deadline, they get a fine and they, get the, you know, they have to pay a penalty. That's not the case. If we don't meet our deadline, which is essentially the first race, you know, we don't race. We can't be there. And that basically uh, has, has put an end to our whole season. AMD technology is integral to what we do. Every computer that we work on is, is based around it and whether this is a CAD station that we're doing the design on or a laptop that we've got plugged into a car and looking uh, at data from, from a session, from a qualifying session and then relaying that back to the driver to try and improve his time on his next run. Literally every, every machine here is run on, on AMD processors. At the moment we're, we've, uh, we've got one quad-core CAD workstation that we've been testing. It allows us to uh, run two applications at once, stress analysis application and uh, uh, the CAD application and for data to be transferred between the two. Uh, and it allows the graphics card to also access one of the cores as well, for, so for the graphics process. Uh, it just makes the whole process much, much faster. Instead of just doing the three or four designs uh, and iterations of refining the components, we'll now be able to do 30 or 40, which means that the, the final component is a far better piece and we know that it's going to be far more competitive. We're very, very pleased with the results, both in terms of the 64-bit operating system and, and in terms of the processor and of the the Fire Pro card that's in it. We plan to uh, implement in the near future Fire Pro cards across the board in the CAD workstations. It will allow us to manipulate larger and larger models. The more we can get of the of the car in and on the screen at once, the better the, you know that it's going to fit together. We have to push the boundaries on the racetrack. We know AMD pushes the boundaries in terms of technology, and the two together, you know, work absolutely brilliantly. AMD-based technology has made it possible for Triple Eight to become the most successful British touring car team in the history of the championship.